Ambiguity is a term often used to describe a fault in style, referring to the use of vague or equivocal expressions when precision and clarity are required. However, in literary criticism, ambiguity has taken a new meaning as a deliberate poetic device. This deliberate use of language involves employing a single word or expression to signify multiple distinct references or to express diverse attitudes or feelings. Alternative terms such as multiple meaning or plurisignation have been introduced to avoid the negative connotations associated with the word ambiguity. In Shakespeare's play, Antony and Cleopatra, Cleopatra's speech to the asp is an excellent example of ambiguity. She says, Come, thou mortal wretch, with thy sharp teeth this knot intrinsicate of life at once untie. Poor venomous fool, be angry and dispatch. Her words carry rich and multiple significances. For instance, the word mortal can mean fatal or death dealing, but it can also imply that the asp itself is mortal and subject to death. Similarly, wretch expresses both contempt and pity, while the word dispatch holds dual meanings of make haste and kill both equally relevant in the context. Another type of multiple meaning is conveyed through portmanteau words, a term introduced by Lewis Carroll in Through the Looking Glass. A portmanteau word combines two or more existing words to create a new one with layered meanings. James Joyce effectively employed this device in Finnegan's Wake to maintain multiple levels of meaning through his narrative. For example, he skillfully fused words like Freudand, combining Frightened and Freud, and Jung, blending Jung and Carl Jung, who was Freud's rival. The philosopher Jacques Derrida used the term de France as another example of portmanteau word combining the diverse meanings of the French verb differer, which means to differ and to defer. William Empson's work in Seven Types of Ambiguity significantly contributed to the exploration of poetic ambiguity. He expanded the awareness of readers to the complexity and richness of poetic language. However, there is a risk of overreading where critics may provide ingenious, overdrawn, and sometimes contradictory explanation of literary words or passages. In conclusion, ambiguity in literature serves as a powerful literary device, allowing authors to add depth and layers of meaning to their work. By employing multiple meanings and portmanteau words, writers can create intricate and thought-provoking connections that enrich the reading experience. So this was the discussion on the term ambiguity. If you have any doubts or questions, you can ask them in the comment section. And if you want to read the script of this lecture or want to study MCQs related with this topic then click in the link given in the description and then you can find that document. Until the next video, thank you and bye bye.